So when was the downside the right side? And what could clue us into the probability that B2B, as we call it, in this case, bullish to bearish? That's what the acronym B2B stands for, either bearish to bullish or bullish to bearish. Well, right now the market's bullish. It's walking up. It's come up in here. It's pulled back. It's re-rallied in here. A couple things happen. First thing that happens is if you just pay attention to where my cursor is, first off, you had a really big short puke. That's these red hollow bars right there. You could also see them right here. And then when you look at them here, this is over two minutes. This is keeping all the stats and, and exits over the last six hours. So when these two come out and then you gaze up here, you get perspective that this is the most shorts that have puked in the entire session, number one. And number two, you had a 400 lot right there that it came underneath. So that's bullish to bearish, but at least even if it's not B to B, it's at least if you're long cover when you see this along with this 400 lot you know sitting up there at least the first test now we walk down a little bit we use the pwaps which are these guys as support i didn't really think that the the pwaps were going to work this last time right there and they did but they didn't go b2b yet they had the moment where this was a temporary high and so as we scroll through, this was a B2B moment where it just, boom, big down bar, seemingly out of nowhere. You get the red laser going from red to green, which is shorts to longs, potentially being stuck on the two-minute OPP. And you get this number right in here on the 60-minute OPP to tighten up. So it's a small red laser right there. All right. It doesn't mean you needed to be short where my cursor is there, but it did mean to say, be very, very careful if you're looking for the market to run straight back up. And this is what I illustrated when it happened. So we get this long bar down. Careful if you're looking to buy it here for it to rally straight back up because it's kind of like a, a, a sucker's play almost. And the market gets long in here, 111.84, and it continues down, slides lower pretty pretty hard and then what happened was the continuation so again this is the the this head scratch b2b moment right in here bullish to bearish where the probability of downsides the right side then we also had right around like in here 908 see 908 come up and you go up 908 fed speaker was on the wire and he had said some hawkish comments and we know that the market's been sensitive to interest rates when a Fed speaker is dovish, that's bullish for stocks. When they're hawkish, that's bearish. Those pretty hawkish comments that he is leaving another hike on the table. He's not that encouraged inflation, uh, the winning out on it. And, and so we bring it to everyone's attention because then that's just another kick in the pants moment to keep price pressure, keep pressure on prices and the downside continue to be the right side. And really no decent retracements until we kind of get i stopped the recording we got to test the pwap where it broke back down but it seems like there's a lot going on on these charts it's really not like i said before it's a repeated two minute 60 minute and so it's just different time frames and when you break down all of it surrounds order flow and other people's positions where people are getting in to open a position or getting out essentially to close a position so when you see a lot of shorts that that puke and then you get underneath it like right in here it's a downside right side when you get the pwaps which are these green and red dotted lines get violated it's another b2b in this case bullish to bearish all right keep looking at a market now i'll go deeper into this like a card trick there's no magic there's no real magic it's just where is price being like sleight of hand in trying to sucker people in to doing something uh, and, and trapping them. In order to get price to move more, you need the you need one side to be wrong, but a crowded trade or, or a lot of people to be wrong. Not just people to be wrong, but a lot of people. Whatever the definition is of a lot that particular session, that's what gets price to move more. 
is not necessarily big sellers coming in to push it lower, but too many people long that turn into sellers that chase it lower because sellers that chase move price lower. Sellers who, who actually get filled are filled. They're met with buyers, but it's the people that are chasing price and are accumulating long positions that are also saying, holy SHIT, I'm long and wrong. You're a seller. And, and so you got to get, you got to amass more people on one side. And, and when an app becomes a crowded trade long, you get B2B moments. And you get, if you had an emoji face, the big, wide eyes, grapefruit eyes that say, uh, not only are they long and wrong, maybe even in a good spot where they had money into it, now they're chasing it to the downside. You have to look for transitional moments. That's the market giving you sleight of hand, so to speak.